Hi, welcome back to Better Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Sean Killian. <laughs> I'm Rick Hunnell. I'm Dave Greathouse. I'm Mike Hunsaker, and we're from Shattered Sanctity. Do we need a Better Rules thing? I don't know. Welcome back to Better Rules TV, TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Sean Killian. <laughs> I'm Rick Hunnell. I'm 12, and what is this? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm really Matt Kivitz, and that's really Jeff Rappaport. Sha! It is. Sean Kellyan. Bodies! I'm bodies! I'm bodies! I'm bodies! Alright, so in the news. In the news. I was tying it into the whole, you know, he was in violence. Gotcha. I don't know if anybody's with me. Oh, yeah, I'm totally with you. Yeah, it's rough fun. You got the whole. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Violence is good, man. All right, so uh, I love the violence. Yeah, I, yeah. If they could have just, uh, just like one more record, squeeze another record out of them. Yeah. Anyways, um, Machine Head, he's gone on, and Machine Head is a fucking incredible band. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Great job with it. Uh, they, well, they had a, a bad period, but that's okay. What yeah. was the bad period? They, Everything they before. Don't uh, say the Burning Red, because I love the Burning Red. Burning Red was decent. The album after that was really new metal. Supercharger? Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. Too. I liked it too. It was very new. <coughs> like it they did it like part. different than when that the guy, Nino the guy, bands. that guy from El, El Nino was in the band during that. Yeah, band, it was I think great. it was his fault they did that. Yes. Too, too yes. Spanishy. Yeah, too Spanishy. Uh, but they made quite a comeback with uh, Ashes. Uh, what was it? Uh, from the Ashes uh, of Empires. Yes, Ashes of Empires and the Blackening, which I love. Yeah. And the last album, Locust, was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. The Blackening's the best. So. Black, I agree, totally. Blackening's the best. I love the Burning Red. Burning Red's pretty good. I don't know what it is. I just I dig it. Mm. Is it had this song about when he was back in high school? That's the song. That, is that on the Burning Red? I really like that one. He's like, I was friends with Jeff Rappaport. <laughs> Cause he's Sean Killian when he's not Jeff Rappaport. <laughs> I used to be in a band with that dude called Violence. Mm. I played the guitar and now I sing and play guitar. So at the same I time, play. somehow. Cause I'm magical. Cause I'm Rob Flynn. Did you notice how um he got really good at guitar out of nowhere? He practiced. Yeah, practice makes sure he's been playing for a long time. Yeah, he uh, it, it's it's kind of like violence part two now, really, with Phil Dimmel and the man. Yeah, pretty you know much. I mean? Like it's pretty much a continuation. <clears throat> he's like, I don't need you anymore, Sean Cunningham. Yeah, now yeah. here I am, sitting on the Jeff Rapport's couch. Look at me. Look what you did to me. <laughs> Take a look at him now. Just a bit of Okay. So uh. They don't have any immediate tour plans, but they're actually starting to write uh, in the next week or two, which by this time they were probably already writing. They probably were already writing a week of it already. Uh, they've talked about maybe uh, the next album doing shorter songs, mm -hmm. which is okay with me because I'm actually like a fan of shorter songs. I'm not a huge fan of long it's, songs. I don't know, man. The I mean, song Halo goes somewhere on the yeah. black and that was epic. Yes, it was, and it's good. Even the full the first song is really long too. The first song That's a good song, song yeah. though. I'm mean, in general. Yeah, I, yeah, I hear you. I like short songs better. Yeah. They're not sure on a label now is what I got as well because uh, really they're not with Roadrunner. Yeah, anymore? they completed the 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 post Roadrunner Roadrunner deal. Huh. Um, and they were saying they're not we're looking at different options. I'm not sure whether they're going to be understand. I think Chris Conte should come back. I know you got you know he hasn't been in the band in a while, but you should come back and just you know play on a track because I like Chris Conte. Okay. Why not? Shout out, Chris Contos. Still love you, bitch. You just want to sing? I do. And have him call you Sean Kelly. Yeah, somebody's got to call me that. So that's pretty much, you know, there's not, like, much news. Yes. In fact, uh, if you're hearing this, hearing about this on Metal Rules TV, it doesn't really count because it, yeah. cause <laughs> there was, like, a press release that you should only be hearing about this on MachineHead.com and other places. Right. but. You know, I looked at MachineHead.com and saw this. So, so we're passing on? We're passing on. So even though you're not hearing it on MachineHead.com, you're still hearing it from Sean Killian, who was in a band with him a long time ago. <laughs> so have, you ever, have you ever met Rob Flynn? No. I hear conflicting I have met Sean like, Killian. I hear he's a dick, and I hear he's like a really nice guy. And I don't know which one he's to believe. He's a nice dick. Yeah. That's what it's he's got saying. a sweet dick, dude. <laughs> 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 totally good dick. He's it's, got the it, good dick. It's like all like perfectly like it's like all clean it's and not symmetrical. To either side. No, it's completely symmetrical and it's got almost like a like a, a silky oh, feel. Texture, yeah. Main question, is it is it veiny? 
Is it veiny? Bill no, 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 no. Just the right amount. Just the right amount. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like a hot dog, but it's still not. I mean, it, yeah. it's it's hot doggy and it has the veins, but it's not yeah. an edible hot dog. Not like the right. ones that you say like. Like you want some veins because you want to know it's a dick. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, forget that. But it has a nice, <laughs> it has a nice sheen and a nice flavor. Oh to my it. god. <laughs> so quick. <laughs> Sorry. Right, well, that's, that's not bad. <laughs> so anyway. I'm not going to try a sheen. I'm talking about a sheen peen. Sheeny ween. Rob Flynn and a sheen peen. So <laughs> that's what we have now. All right, I have, this is where all the machine head fans are going to hate me. Well, actually, not really. I found another article. Um, I think it was on Metal Injection, and I have it pulled up here on my phone. That's why is that I the one with him talking about never buying a CD yes. again? Yes. Yeah. He made the statement that he's never buying a CD again. Who? Rob Flynn. Flynn. And let me pull it up. That's not what I want. That's what I want. We're high tech here at the show. Yeah. Yeah. We, we pull out our phones. Totally. <laughs> oh, so, snap. When, uh, In the meantime, on. check out Brazil's Dervo Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. They are working on new material. <laughs> Invisible camera guy. Uh, basically, it was him talking about how he doesn't, hasn't bought a CD in a while. Um, this is what he said. What's we he don't buy? need... We don't need 19 songs and 72 minutes of music on a CD. And where would you even get those CDs nowadays? Between my iPhone, I, iPhone, really? iPhone? What is that? My iPhone, iTunes, and Spotify. I just download or stream it. It's too easy. I can say without a shred of doubt that I will never buy another physical CD again, ever. I have found so many new bands on iTunes and Spotify. Uh, it is absolutely incredible. The entire history of recorded music is at your fingertips at all times. Sure, there are a few holdouts, but they'll be on board within the year. Even Metallica has hopped on the Spotify train. The world has gone streaming. It's just too easy. Hell, I've found more new and old bands on YouTube just surfing around than I ever found at a record store. I doubt that highly. And so we as a band ask ourselves a lot of unique questions about what we should do. I'm absolutely not interested in selling CDs first week of release for $16, 17 or $18. First of all, CDs don't go for that. Best Buy usually has them for $10, uh, like the current Machine Head Live album. Yeah. <laughs> it's nine ninety nine at Best Buy. Uh, I actually listened to it on Pandora. Did you? Is it good? <laughs> I'm okay. just making this up because okay. it's just a joke. You're, you're trolling me. Live. I'm Sean Killian. I don't have any money. You were live action <laughs> trolling, me, trolling me. I'm not interested in selling CDs at all, frankly, though I realize people will buy and appreciate them. But hey, change is inevitable, especially in this business. Just like cassettes became absolute, <clears throat> CD long boxes, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, it goes on to say that he, they're... Uh, they know some people want CDs, so they're not necessarily considering only doing digital, which I hope they don't, because I don't really buy digital music. You know I mean? actually prefer an 8-track, if you could make that for me. Yes. Because I like it when it skips in between the song. You'll be listening to the song, and it all goes... Ch -ch. Yeah, and you have to switch the thing. Yeah. I, well, I, I look at things on YouTube a lot, you know, to get an idea if I like a band or I like blah, blah, blah. But, like, I like having an actual album. You know I mean? And I, liked it, and I liked the age of vinyl before, but let's face it, records were kind of inconvenient. Right. You couldn't bring them anywhere. You can't put them in your pocket. You know, they're kind of neat. But, like, I enjoy CDs. I like having a physical album. So yeah. I, that really, I hate that mentality. <clears throat> and, Rob, you're feeding into it. What's up? Well, even more so. than just, even more than just the, that, I mean, having a CD, it's better audio quality. Right. Regardless. You know, it. I, I, you have to get a pretty large digital file for it to sound as right. good as a CD, and at that point, you know, your iPod's going to have maybe 600 songs if you have a 20 gig iPod. Yeah. I like it the best when you pay Rob Flynn 15 grand to have a pizza party in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I that's prefer. Just to hear the story. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually what I prefer. That, oh that's the God. best quality. If he's actually singing 10 ton hammer in your, <laughs> in your ear hole. Like right on the head. Right. Like a ten down home. You're eating your pizza while he's doing <laughs> yeah. it. Like. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually the quality that I yes. prefer. I don't think you do. Yeah. That. <laughs> so if they go that route, I'm probably not buying any more machine head CDs, basically, because I don't really buy digital music. I have no plans to. I like CDs. But so. would you buy a Nervo Chaos patch? Yes, obviously. So. <laughs> and you guys are really plugging them. <laughs> so that's that's all I had to say about that. I just I wanted to bring that up. I thought it was interesting. And I take issue with Rob. And I respect a lot of things about Rob. This isn't one of them. Yeah. Well, I like the music, and that's pretty much all that matters to me. I like some Machine Head. You don't buy albums anyway. You just. Yeah. You know. I don't. And I don't go to concerts, and I don't really support the underground at all. So <laughs> you, you, you do nothing at all to support bands. Or I don't. I don't have this this show yeah. that nobody watches, 
And I don't know why you're watching it, to be honest. Yeah, so. so you're missing out. You could be watching that metal show. I think they have uh, Keep Wanger on tonight. You might want to <laughs> tune in. I love Wanger. I do too. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. All right. Anything else to add on uh, Machine Head? No. That's all. New album. So release your CD and yeah. I'll buy it. He's still going to cool. release the CD. Physical <laughs> copies. Yeah. And look for a new Violence album, 2020. <laughs> what? It's happening. I'm making this happen. I'm getting the band back together. I would Come like on. to see a Violence reunion next year. It would be way cool. I saw them. Thrash of the Titans. Nice. Like a full on, full fledged. They're right in my grill, yeah. It's great they when scared Thrash me. fans reunite, which we'll discuss. I was standing there. Wait, wait. Can I tell you a real quick story? Mm -hmm. I was at Thrash of the Titans, and Violence is playing. And uh, I was... Was it Violent? Yeah, well, wait. I was in the front row, and Sean Killian says... The real Sean Killian says, I got a sticker up here. I got a Violent sticker. It might have been a patch or something. He's like, the first motherfucker that comes up here and gets it, gets this sticker. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm in this fucking packed place. I'm like in the front row, and he's holding up a sticker, and the fucking crowd is gonna go fucking nuts and step on my head to get this fucking sticker. Did Stop inciting a riot, motherfucker! I got nervous. I actually, at that point, thank God for having a press pass. Mm -hmm. During that, during their violence of set, I actually took my candy ass backstage where it was safe. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> then drinking beer with Marcus Wade's mother. You were, yeah, you were running kind of scrawny in those days, weren't you? That wasn't the height of your gym going. I was not going to the gym at the time. I was about yeah. 140 pounds. So you I would have been broken. I had a big giant Jufro going. You had the craziest Jufro ever. <laughs> I had like a big ever. giant Jewish glasses, and I was like, oh, Jufro, you were, were you, on TV. <laughs> you were basically Woody Allen in the anthrax shirt. Yeah. <laughs> there's actual video of me from, from Thrash the Titans. There's actually, if you go to the Reality Check TV, and look, there's a clip of me being interviewed at, at that concert. And there's also... If you look at the Forbidden uh, Chalice of Blood video for that thing, I sing backing vocals in the last five minutes of that song. And you'll see me come up there, the most awkward five minutes you've ever seen. Like, who is that ass clown up on stage with Forbidden at the, like, the most important event of the decade? <laughs> How that happened, I'll never know. But yes, I sang backing vocals for Forbidden at Thrash of the Titans. Ah, that's yeah. craziness. All right. All right. So that's what we have, pudding. <laughs>